Hey hun, welcome back to my vault. I'm Chloe and I'm here to help you achieve your ultimate confidence. So today I wanna to share with you how to do a machine gun split. The machine gun split is an advanced level trick and I'd say that it's kind of more an OG trick. It's been around for a while now and it is, as you can tell from the name, quite sassy and badass. So if you want to learn how to do the machine gun split, then keep on watching. So firstly, I'm going to demonstrate it from a static position. This isn't on a spinning pole, but I'm going to demonstrate it statically. So you firstly want to identify which brass monkey shoulder you're strong on. So usually I do my brass monkey on my right. So like using my right armpit. So I'm gonna use this side, but if you feel like your brass monkey is stronger on the other side, you can totally do that on that side as well. So whichever strong arm you've got, so say for me, if it's my right arm, I'm going to think of this kind of position first. So with the machine gun split, your whichever stronger arm you're on, the same leg goes on top of this little shelf you create. So when you create this shelf, it's actually not as high as doing a shoulder mount. It's kind of lower so that you can kind of put it on top like that. So hook, try hooking um, your right leg or left leg onto that shelf. And then what you want to next think of is pretty much grabbing your right leg with your left hand and pulling it towards your face. So for me, I'm going to get into this position. And when you, when you get into this position, think of hooking your leg onto like this part of your arm. So getting here, hooking it, like really getting it in and grabbing your right ankle with your left hand and pulling it towards your face. So you'll, you want to think of doing this aerially, obviously, but this is the position you want to be in. And when you're doing the machine gun split, you really think of twisting your bum, really facing out, not in, but like out. So here, grabbing and then pull towards your face and then your bum should be going out. And then a good indicator is that your foot, like the, this part of your foot, I can't remember what it's called, but like this, kind, this part of your foot should be facing like completely out, like that. So it's kind of like when you're doing a chopstick, you know when you do a chopstick like that? It's the same thing, it's kind of like you're going out. So, keeping that in mind, when you're doing it aerially, your left leg is hooked, firstly, to have the balance, and then you kind of like unhook it. Pretend that my left leg is hooked, but I won't be able to do it from the floor. From here, grabbing your right leg by the ankle, pulling it, and then, you want to, when you create that 90 degree angle here, as long as your shelf is like secure here, you can, you'll be able to release your, oh, I forgot to tell you that you need a bit of grip on this side. And then you can try balancing it from the floor. If you, if you fall, it won't hurt as much. And it's actually not as, like you don't need much balance as you think you do. So you can kind of like just float off the floor, um, float your left foot off the floor from here. And then if you feel secure in it, you can release it. So as I said, it's kind of scary at the beginning to pretty much release your left leg off the floor or right leg, whichever leg you're floating off the floor. But it's actually not as bad as you think it is, as long as you're keeping that balance on the floor. Like you, your body should be like 
horizontal off of the floor. And as long as you maintain that, it's okay. So let's try that up the pole. So climb, sit. When I'm sitting, my bum is away from the pole. I'm already shifting to the left side, as you can see. Hook my left leg, hook it really tight. Grab my right ankle with my left hand from over it, not under it. Over it is much easier. And then push my right leg up so that I can get my body around, pull it, get my right hand around to this gap here and then release. Oh, the spin stop back again. And there you have it. I hope that you enjoy that tutorial and let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions or concerns at all and if you want to learn any more tricks then I'm more than happy to take some trick requests as well. If you follow me on my pole journey and subscribe to this channel if you haven't, I mean might as well since you're here already. Also hit that bell icon so that you're notified every single time I upload a video. Follow me on all my socials at Chloe Uchida, Facebook at Chloe Uchida, Instagram at Chloe Uchida, and TikTok at Chloe Uchida. Thank you so much for watching Han, and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye.